Hello everyone, Sunday night, it's time for the DNRS uh, Sunday night recap for Belmoral Park, uh, September the 7th. We'll go through the uh, recap here and then we'll wrap this week up. Take a couple days off and then head, get ready to head into Wednesday night for another week of Chicago harness racing. Alright, but first off I want to mention once again, I want to talk about Belmoral's handle last night. It was one million one hundred and forty two thousand nine hundred and ninety three dollars. Yep. That's right. Another over a million handle, almost near a million two. I'm sure that no other track in the United States of America outhandled Belmoral Park. That we can all bet our last bottom dollar on. Okay, so once again, uh, the handles are good. The handles are good, right? So for everyone that keeps uh, preaching and talking about how people are taking their gambling dollars elsewhere and all that, well, I don't think they're doing too bad at Belmoral. The only place they're going with those gambling dollars are those river boats and those uh, fly-by-night casinos they got in Chicago there, like they do in every other town, because, uh, you know, nothing can compare to Las Vegas, Nevada, never will. And when they're all done and folded up, the last man standing will be Las Vegas, Nevada. When Atlantic City's folded up and casinos around the country start folding up because people will get tired of losing their money and don't want to come to Vegas for fun and entertainment and shopping and great restaurants and outstanding shows and then a little bit of gambling and everything you want out here, yep, Vegas will be the last one standing. Okay? So uh, I feel bad for that Atlantic City uh, thing. Let's have three casinos now closed up since uh, the last three, few, four months. Yeah, they're folding right up out there. And they're looking to move them around now. Move them around, move them around. Take some to the Meadowlands. Yeah, move them around. Mm -hmm. But anyway, the only gambling dollars being lost in Chicago are to uh, those uh, riverboat casinos and those uh, other casinos that they got. And, uh, I guess to restaurants and bars who have slot machines. Cause people want to go there and bet, bet that. So yeah, some of the handles lost, but you know what? How are you complaining about the handle in Chicago when it's like this? A million, million two, Maywood Friday night, uh, over a million dollars, okay? And they outhandle every other track in the country, including all those hotshot East Coast racetracks out there that everybody thinks so great. Yeah, yeah, East Coast has got the best racing ever. Yeah, they might have the best racing. That's right, they got the best drivers out there and the best trainers, and they got the best horses out there. But Chicago outhandles them all with all those great drivers and trainers and purses that they got out there. Chicago still outhandles them all. Except for the Meadowlands, of course. You know, and the cartel boys that bet into the pools there because they got a because they got a deal from Grell for huge rebates, so they're pumping money into the pools. Okay, whatever. Anyway. Total nonsense for people to talk about Chicago racing. Uh, yeah. yeah, the only thing that's going downhill is uh, the condition of the racetracks because the track owners don't want to maintain them and fix them up and uh, uh, stuff like that. That's what's going downhill, you know, things like that. Anyway, I'm sure they handled probably close to a million tonight. I'm gonna take a quick look here before I get into this and see if they're. All ten races are posted yet, and see if the handle's up. Because I like talking about the handle. I like talking. No, they're only to the ninth race again. It always takes them a long time to put that last race up. But anyway, um, I'm sure they handle that tonight. Anyway, let's get into the results for DNRS. Um, I wouldn't say it was an outstanding night tonight, you know. Caught some winners, caught some gimmicks, but it wasn't uh, real outstanding. And we'll go through it and see what. I'm, uh, you know, a few races were got burned in a few races out of gimmicks. So anyway, we had top. I had top uh, four top-rated winners out of the ten races, one second-rated winner, and two third-rated winners. So out of the ten races, seven winners came out of my top three. Five came out of my top two. Anyway, that's as far as it goes with winners. Now, let's head on to the first race. Didn't catch the first race. My third-rated horse won the race, the four-horse. 
Um, don't know what happened to the two chalks in there. I had them rated 5841210. And the, uh, the 5 and the 8 didn't run two steps. Two steps didn't run. Chalks. You know, the four horse, third graded horse won it. And uh, the seven horse got second, who I didn't have rated at all. Long shot. Koblenz. Koblenz got second. So that was a no cash race. Now, race number two. <laughs> oh, yeah. Here we go. I had him rated three, four, one, five, six, eight. Three, four, one, five, six. Top five rated. My second rated horse ran second. My third rated horse ran third. My top rated horse ran fourth. The only problem was my fifth rated horse, the six, he won. Timmy Curtin on those long shots. Timmy Curtin. Pat Curtin on those long shots. Again. Ninety-one bucks. Ninety-one dollars. Had him in my numbers underneath those top two rated horses. If the four wins, it's Casharoo Baby with that long shot. But, of course, Warren didn't win with the favorite. Four to five. Didn't win. Six went right up the wood and got by him. I didn't box my top five rated in the five horse try box for $30 to pick up 450 bucks. 50 cent try box, 30 bucks. I didn't do it. Nope. Maybe some of you other guys did it because, you know, sometimes you take a shot on these rat trotters, maidens, non winners of one. A race lifetime. You take a shot. You know, you see, oh, well, you know, anything can happen. Let me box this guy's top five rated. He's got a 45 to one shot in there. Nobody else had him. None of the other Chicago pro handicappers, Jeremy Day, Tom Kelly, or Paradise had the six anywhere. They had him way, way down at the bottom, bottom of the page on their, on their selections. But uh, the Dan Nance rating system formula, he came up with the six fifth rated. He got that six rated fifth for me. And he was he, he was right there. He was there. He won the race. Beat my top three rated horses. But I didn't cash because I didn't box the top five. I do it sometimes. I did it all the time. I used to do it for the syndicate bets. The syndicate boys will tell you. But, uh, you know, depends on what you want to do. But anyway, he, he won somehow. How, I don't know. Uh, went off at 99 to 1 last week in the maiden race. Uh, and he was 6 by 14. Start before that, he went off at 34 to 1 at Belmoral. He was fourth by 10. Trotted in 2 1. And then before that, he was distance at Lexington with Tyler Miller. Tyler Smith, I mean. Tyler Smith, distance, distance with Tyler Smith, one of those new up and coming guys. Distance. Start before that, he was 6 by 7 at Hoosier Park. No, that was Lexington also. Take that back. And then, uh, he was in a qualifier at Hoosier, and he distanced in the qualifier, trotted in 2-4. That was those lines. That was his lines. 17 lifetime starts, no wins. Zero for 10 this year, 1,700. But somehow, somehow, he raced against the four last week. Nothing. But he got up the wood this time. Pat Curtin, he's got those hands, man. Pat got those hands. My hat's off to Pat. So anyway, that's all that is. Wish I'd have taken that five horse box, picked up four fifty, but didn't do it. Let's move on to race number three. I had the ice cold exact in there. It was easy. It was easy. I had the try and had the ice cold exact. Didn't have the super because I didn't have the six in the numbers and he ran for it. I had him rated eight two four five one three. And uh came in eight two one six. So eight two one. Ice cold exact was only twelve bucks. The try paid sixty eight sixty. You know, those are the two two logical horses. So two eight two eight with one three four five underneath tries. Pick up sixty eight bucks, two dollar try. Make a couple bucks on that race. Get some of your money back you lost in the first two. But then again, you might not have lost on the first two because you might have had that second race somehow. But I didn't. Anyway, let's move on to race number four, where my second rated horse won. He beat, the, I don't know what happened to Celebrity Hercules. He got lost out there some, for some reason. Lost. He just like, he was in a cloud somewhere. Aaron Elliott. In the clouds this week, you know. 
and then he come on, come on, he come on. Though he didn't even come on. He wasn't even in the top four. Now that I'm looking at that, anyway, I had him rated two four one nine eight six. Came in four nine five seven. So second rated horse on top. Uh, uh, caught the exacta for fifty dollars and sixty cents with the nine second. I uh, didn't have the five in my numbers at all, so couldn't catch the try. Uh, top two rated on top five deep. Forty dollar bet. Two dollars exactas and fifty cent tries. Got back fifty sixty for for two buck exacta, so ten dollars was won in the race. No try, can't win then. You know, can't win a lot. Just uh, get your money back and make ten bucks. Anyway, second rated winner. I think he paid six bucks. Moving on to race number five. I had that exacta ice cold, ice cold. Ten eighty winner on top. Top rated. $10.80. Exact the ice cold, $20.40. I had him rated 4317.52. Came in 4372. So, exact the tri super underneath top rated. $20 ice cold, exact as I just stated. Tri came back 135. My fourth rated horse ran third. And then the super came back 326 for a dollar. With two horse. Fourth, who I had rated underneath my top rated horses. He was in the numbers. So there you go. That was a cash race. Not bad. Got the winner for ten dollars. I bet that winner. I didn't I'm not gonna let him get off at ten bucks. I bet win on him too. Since he came up top rated over the three horse. And when they come up top rated according to my rating system formula, and they're beat and then with ten dollars in a price like that, then I'm betting to win. And then I'm betting then I'm betting tries. 3-4, three, 3-4 four, three, four with the other numbers. I'm boxing 3-4 and exact this. You know, I'm doing that. Stuff like that. So, okay, that was a cash race. Moving on to race number six. Uh, where are we at here? Uh, didn't cash, didn't have it. Because I had the five rated fifth. I had them rated 6-3-9-8-5-1. This was a tough race to, this was a tough race to go with. Because, uh, because of these Pocono horses coming in. Uh, Big Bill Breeze, 11 wins and 14 starts, wins at Pocono out of the seven holes. Same thing with Swiss Mocha. Pocono wins out of the nine holes, parked to the quarters and wins in 56s. I know Pocono's a weird track, super fast, all that, but still. 56 there, you know, it's like a 57, 58, 57 and two mile, Belmore, you know, they're about a second. Second, a couple fifths faster than Belmore. So same thing with the eight. So that kind of threw me all up, threw the rating numbers all up. They both wound up making breaks, by the way, three and eight. So three wasn't going to be there anyway. They, he, he pulled and then he made a move and came up and then he was quitting. And then he wound up breaking. Eight horse got locked in like a sieve the whole mile. So God knows if he was any good. Got locked in like a sieve and then the guy jerks him out, trying to uh, jerking him around in the stretch. And then he winds up running like, like a deer. So anyway, big uh, Bobby B. Breeze won the race, and I had him rated down there fifth. Okay, and I had the one, I had the nine, I had the six underneath him. But uh, you're not putting no fifth-rated horse on top. So that's it on that. No, no cash there. Race number seven. Uh, I had him rated uh, five, two, three, seven, eight, six. And the two got scratched, a late scratch, so he was out. So that made the numbers five, three, seven, eight, six. My top three rated horses ran one, two, three. No, I'm sorry. My top three rated horses were in the were in the exact the box. After the scratch, you box my top three rated, the three, five, and seven. You catch a seventy-nine dollar exacta for twelve bucks. Third rated horse won. Second rated horse ran second. So. Exact the box on the top three rated. That was it. No tries. Two horses scratched. Threw all the numbers off. Once a, once a horse, once a number gets scratched like that, it, it, everything is going to adjust on my rating system formula. Um, I'm making a video. Close the door, okay? Yeah. Why? Want to say good night? Yeah. Okay. No, I'm not going. I I'm just saying. I'm just saying hi. Okay, hi. Okay, I'll be in in a minute for dinner. I'm not I'll be in a minute for dinner. Okay, um, anyway, anyway, 
Getting back to that, what was I saying here? Okay. Uh, lost my train of thought now. Let me take a drink of water, please. Anyway, that was uh, race number seven on the exacto box. Moving on to race number eight. Top rated winner on top. I had no three. Three got second. Come out of a qualifier. Pat Curtin again. Pat Curtin again got second over to seven. My second rated horse. Came in 10 3 7. Had no three. So, no cash. No cash race. Top rated winner, but no cash. Seven horse ran third, second rated. That was it in that race. So, let's move on to race number nine. Top rated winner. Cast this race. We cast this race. This was all right. Top rated winner to one chalk. I had him rated one two seven three eight six. He came in one seven three eight. One seven three eight. I had the seven rated third. Laura Lee Breeze came up third rated on my formula. Went off twenty five, twenty six to one, something in there. Got second. Third rated horse got second. So that made it pay. Once again, none of the other Chicago handicappers had the seven anywhere. Anywhere in their selections. They had them down, down, down at the bottom. But the Dan Nance rating system formula came up with the seven. And that's what that's what makes it the, the DNRS different from all the uh, so-called pros out there. You know, they get paid for their selections. Because the Dan Nance rating system comes up with these kind of horses all the time. And those are the ones they get in those gimmicks and make them pay. That's right. 30 to 1s, 40 to 1s, 25 to 1s. They're all the time they're in there, aren't they? Yep. DNRS comes up with them. That's all I'm going to say about that. But I'm going to say it again later on when it happens again. You can, you can bet your, your sweet ass on that. I just remind everybody. Anyway, the exact that paid 36.40 with the chalk on top. Dead chalk. Top rated chalk. The try was 162.20. Off track prices. None of that Chicago cut the, cut the pool stuff. Cut the payoffs. People that have winning tickets get penalized in Illinois and Chicago. Got to take that percentage out. Got to chop up all the money. Everybody's got their hands out. Racetrack owners, this guy, that guy, simulcast guy, this guy operating the telephones, this guy. Everybody's got their hands out for money. We got to chop everything up. Yeah, that's how it is nowadays. Never was like that back in the day. No, no chopping. Whatever bet is bet. State gets their cut, racetrack gets their cut, horsemen get their cut right in the purse account. Race. That's the way it should be now. With these recaptures and these cuts all over and simulcast fees and this guy's got rebate shops and this guy's out of oh, offshore ripping people, fucking bets, not putting money in the pools. Yeah, that's what's total nonsense. Go talk about that. That's what you should be talking about. Rattling away. That kind of nonsense. But that's what the problem is. All these handouts. Everybody's got their hand out. Everybody's got to chop it all up. Then you got criminal law out there with recapture. Stealing people's money. What a joke. What a joke. Get me going here. Get me going on it. Yeah. Superfecta. 387 for a buck. Top rated horse on top. With all the other numbers underneath. So if you don't cash on that race pretty decent. Something's wrong. Something's wrong. Numbers are right there staring in front of you with a 25 to 1 third rated horse. All right. Let's move on. Let's move on to a no cash or rule race in the 10th. I don't care. Cash on some, you lose on some. Anyway, 10th race, I had them rated 8, 4, 9, 5, 7. The top five in that order. 8, 4, 9, 5, 7. Do you know something? 
It came in 68495. I had them rated ice cold. Thank you. Thank you for the salad. Ooh. Shut the door, Shut the door please. Um, had them rated ice cold. Five horses rate ice cold. But the six horse, unfortunately, won the race. So nothing. Got nothing. I don't know how the six won. Come out of a qualifier. Broke two starts before that. But he stayed flat tonight, and he raced like a bearcat. Dale, the hitman Heitman for Joel Smith, his man Joel Smith. Joel's a good trainer. Thank you. Joel's an outstanding trainer. I like Joel Smith. He's a good guy. Got a hot temper. Got a hot temper, Joel. Oh, yeah. Real nice guy, but got a hot temper. Reminds me of somebody I know. Real nice guy, but got a temper. But anyway, Heitman beat him. Heitman beat the chalk. Native Lights. Warren. Warren and Ridge Warren. Todd Warren trainer. Ridge Warren driver. Odds on serpents. He's got speed, got early speed, good bred horse, yeah. But uh, you know what? How are you going to put him on top coming out of the qualifier? You know, where he backed up. Backed up. Went in 54. Start before that. Break, start before that. Break, start before that. Maywood, fourth by two. Didn't break. Got all kinds of speed. Couldn't win at Maywood. Start before that. He won. He won the race at Maywood, 56. Yeah, way back in July. But he won. He won. So if he's not there, I got it ice cold. I got it ice cold. But rating system didn't come up with that, that, that six horse. You know. And that was it. So that's how it ended. All right. So that's going to do it for uh, this week and tonight. And uh, can we take a couple days off now and relax? Oh, I got to make an announcement here before, uh, before I go for Wednesday. Uh, so for everybody, I hope, watching the videos and everything. Uh, now, Wednesday, anyone that wants to purchase numbers on Wednesday, I need, I need an advance notice because I got something going on Wednesday. I got a friend coming out to town, and I'll tell you who it is. Big Daddy's coming out with his wife, Mrs. Big Daddy. Their yearly trip to Vegas, and we always get together, and we're going to get together Wednesday. So I'm going to be gone early in the morning till afternoon, and... Uh, I won't be around all day. So I need to know if you're purchasing numbers for Wednesday, whether you're a pick pack guy that already has bought pick packs, you know, and you need the numbers for Wednesday, you need to let me know, preferably by Tuesday evening or early Wednesday morning. Early. Like uh like at least ten thirty central time. Because I'm leaving the house here at nine o'clock in the morning, Vegas time, and I'm gonna be gone all morning, all afternoon. Taking Big Daddy out for breakfast, and a little sightseeing, and whatever. I need to know if you're gonna, you know, if you're so I get. I'll have the numbers ready. The numbers will be done Tuesday night. They'll be uploaded because I get the harness eye Tuesday morning from Red Rock Casino. You know, and uh, I do the ratings Tuesday, so I'll have them all ready to go and uploaded by Tuesday night. So please. Inform me if you're purchasing numbers, purchase them if you're, you know, for a single day or if you got a pick pack and you want numbers. Inform me Tuesday night or early when, uh, Wednesday morning so that I don't lock you out. I could uh, get notified and then have them shout out to you by email. All right, so I wanted to make that announcement because I'm not going to be around. All right, so that'll do it, guys. Great week. All right. Can't complain. Never get complaints. Hopefully I won't. And uh, that's it. We'll see you guys on Wednesday. Good night and uh, take care, everybody. Be a decent person in life. You might have some luck.